Hey guys, HW. I'm up with the larks this morning. I got up at 5.30 a.m. Because my dance card's pretty full at the moment and uh, you'll get a picture of that in the next couple of weeks. Now I uh, alighted from Windyard Station this morning and I really wanted to start this video off across the road over there at Jardin St James which is the uh, coffee shop that I often go to because I love the outlook as you look across the road at the Mint Building and St Mary's Cathedral and all the rest of it but um, instead I've had to start the video off here looking up at the JP Morgan Tower and uh, Centre Point Tower or Sydney Tower as some of you might know it as as well so I'm in Hyde Park and let me start off the video by thanking one of my subscribers Brenda but I almost fell off my chair this morning I woke up I looked at my email and I found out that Brenda had shouted me five coffees five outrageous thank you Brenda my legs are pistons your coffee donations propel them forward keeping the HW train on the tracks so anyway the plan for today as we look over at the the Archibald fountain through the trees over there the plan today is to have a little bow peep at some of the uh, developments that we reviewed over the past six months and see what stage they're up to and we'll keep an eye on those maybe you know every couple of months or every six months um, going forward until they're completed so in a minute I'm going to head down there to the start of Market Street I'm going to walk all the way down Market Street down Piermont Bridge and the first place we'll look at is the Harborside development see how much work's been done on that then we'll get back down George Street and we'll have a look at the Hunter Street connection and then we'll finish off with uh, number one circular key so as that Ibis crawls along the grass in the distance over there looking for something to eat and his friends over here on this lawn let's get ready to start up the train and walk down Market Street oh hey before I do that let me tell you how disgustingly humid it's been in Sydney and it's not going to let up it's pretty much been 30 degrees Celsius every day but it's heightened the humidity is heightened by a rain shower every now and again so you have bright sunshine really warm and then a rain shower and then it's just a steam bath yesterday it was like Singapore you could cut the air with a knife it was atrocious so I think today is going to be the same but uh, that's enough of my whinging about the weather uh, let's get moving all right here we go start of market street outside st james's station david jones isn't open yet still too early David Jones men's store still well under construction. Let's get this green light.
that guy just jogged past he'll be he'll drop about 10 kilos before he finishes his run it's that humid the run I went on yesterday I did like a about 9 k's yesterday and by the time I got home my t-shirt was absolutely dripping wet it was dead set like I jumped in a swimming pool so that'll give you a picture of how humid it is it's happening in the Pitt Street Mall not much all the delivery trucks are still here replenishing the shop fronts State Theatre and Gowing still looking looking the goods. Let's hope they never change those buildings. Leave them the way they are. Let's cross over the road here. Is this a staff member from Parlour already at attention at his post this early in the morning? Must be. Yeah, he's got his walkie-talkie on his belt. Maybe I should have had a nectar there. Oh, this guy in his unicycle. It's an interesting way to get to work. Crossing over George Street. Oh, there's one of those things. What do they call those? Uh, I do know what they are called, but I just can't remember. Queen Victoria building. All the punters still alighting from Town Hall Station. Had to take my sunglasses off because they're fogging up. Humidity again. If I mention the humidity again, I'm going to punch myself in the face. We sneak across here? Yeah, go on then. I'll get run over by the bus. People in that binge cafe down there. Clarence Street looking pretty quiet. Old Clarence Street. Not many buses crawling up it yet. That'll change though later in the day. It'll be a parking lot. There'll be so many buses. Guys just whacking up the poster for the Powerball. Didn't get one last night, so it's a hundred million next week. 100 million smackaroos. It's going to be nice for somebody.
Here's the little walk bridge to Darling Harbour. Oh, there's the Shelbourne Hotel over there. used to go there every week at least a couple of times a week when I was working in Darling Park over here back in the day it's a great hotel it's happening down Sussex Street Still a few punters getting into work. Look at that, a few videos back when I went through the rocks, or I actually started off on Druid Street and ended up in the rocks, I went to the coffee shop The Avenue on George Street, but look there's one in Sussex Street as well, must be it just down there. All the people coming off the bridge here and approaching the bridge on this expressway down here onto the Bradfield. W Hotel almost catching a bit of the early morning light on the windows. I won't show you yet, but I can already see the <laughs> progress on the harbour side. But I'll, I'll save it till I luck right on top of it. I'll stay over this side of Piermont Bridge until I get over and do the reveal. Pointing over to all the tourist shows, Sea Life, Madame Tussauds, Wildlife, Sydney, Maritime Museum over there in the distance. Lucky I've got my umbrella. Look at the rain in the distance there. That'll be coming for HW shortly. Because it was absolutely teeming down this morning when I left. Shoes are still a little damp. I didn't want to bring the uh, Bunnings umbrella again because the last time that was a pain in the neck. So I've got a smaller black umbrella and of course it didn't, didn't cover my mass. So my feet got a bit wet every time I took a stride. Pointing towards the King Street Wharf, the cruise ships and ferries waiting for the punters to go on a lunchtime cruise. There'll definitely be lunchtime cruises today on the, with the rain teeming down. I'll have to make this Piedmont Bridge a quick one so that I can get back into the city and run the chance of using some of the tunnels and uh, awnings to stay dry. I'm trying to come out up there. Pretty sure the wind's coming from the from the north. These flags are sort of flying 
north northwest at the moment. You can probably hear the construction going on in the background and when I get over there I'll flip the camera on and show you the progress on the harbour side. Oh look how keen they are, I don't know whether you can see but in the distance tourists are lined up outside the entrance of the zoo now, desperate to get in there. Oh, the rain's getting closer. Star Casino and Piermont Bridge Hotel starting to come into view now. Alright, time to give you a reference point and this is our first one for about four months I think of the Harbourside Shopping Centre Redevelopment Yeah, so as you can see not a great deal has happened obviously they got rid of all the old structure now so that's good but it looks like now it's um, they're busy excavating probably getting ready to put some car parks in so some of the builders amongst you maybe you can tell me whether this is good progress or not I'm probably a bit um, I've got no experience with building other than doing a bit of demo once upon a time not too sure whether this is good progress or not in four, like about four months, four or five months maybe longer so there, I'll, I'll whack in the last or the clip from the last vid so we can compare so let's get back to the city before it starts raining and we'll check out some of the other joints look at this guy here he's ready to oh, he's ready to pounce on the cyclists that are riding too fast <laughs> he told that guy in all black to slow down cyclists are supposed to ride along at 10 k's which is an absolute crawl oh no it's starting to rain now so as we look walking along the Piedmont Bridge here a bit of info again yeah I got, as I said earlier I've got a pretty full da dance car the next couple of weeks absolutely flat out so um, it's gonna be hard to I think it's gonna be hard to get in another film um, after this one so I might have to uh, time this correctly so that there's not too much delay between them
face the camera towards Cockle Bay in the W Hotel. And now I better get my skates on and get over to George Street on the way to try to find a nectar. All right, I settled on the avenue on Sussex Street, just outside Darling Park. There's the Shelbourne Hotel over there and the little bridge coming out of Darling Harbour. Haven't sat down here for donkey's years. Oh, the nectar's coming. Thank you. Nice camera. Cheers. Oh, there it is. The flat white has arrived via Brenda. Thanks, Brenda. This nectar's on you. Let me, let me have a crack of this. Cheers. Oh, I should take a photo of it first, shall I? Nah. Oh, the first, the first taste is a little bitter, but I'll keep cracking on. Yeah, it's all right. I'm getting some chocolate and caramel now. Yeah, as I was saying, haven't been here for donkey's years. Last time I was down here, I think I was standing about there having a few drinks with an old work site. And then we headed down to, um, down on the other side of the bridge there, down to uh, the Cockle Bay Wharf, and we had dinner at uh, Nick's seafood I can't even remember how long ago that was it was a long time ago All these people coming in for their morning fix Ibis over there hoping someone will drop there raisin toast while they're having their nectar this guy here getting some last minute notes into his presentation typing away madly So we're finished, so let's get moving. Finish the nectar at the avenue. A couple of tourists there, look like they've just dragged themselves out of bed healed themselves off the duna coming in like zombies get their coffee they cross oh shit I was about to cross there we got run over by this bike HW the jaywalker Carry my umbrella and camera with one hand and then got the other 
hand holding the mic in my gob. I have no idea what time it is, but I just sense with the increasing number of punters on the street that I've got to get my skates on. Crossed over Kent Street. Wow, look at the punters outside Lime over there. It's very popular. For their morning toasties. Not many of them holding coffees though. Might take a bit of a skirt down Clarence Street here. Rather than walking back to George Street now, I catch this mural on the side of the secure car park on the way. Look at this ye old beach scene here. There it is. Oh, it's a mural for Clarence Street itself. Clarence Street, Sydney. On the wall of the Marcus Street car park. That coffee's heated me up. What's this joint up here? Santa Catarina. Restaurant, is it? It's a bar. Oh, look at that cheeky little. Uh, it's got no sign on it, so it's not an alleyway, it's just a driveway. It stopped raining but we're passing under the awning of the Grace Hotel here. Place over there, King Clarence. Well, 
or the through traffic through the city using King Street as per usual not many people waiting for coffees in two penny just yet Tell you what, almost came a cropper then, completely slid on that drain. Obviously the Sydney City is not worried about getting sued by anyone. My shoes. Definitely got some grip on them. Don't think that should have happened. Get out on the street. There's too many punters on the foot on the footpath, the sidewalk. On my sunglasses again. All the happy faces heading off to work. Trying to get a last bit of substance into their body before they see all the other miserable faces in the office. <laughs> to how many people are going to get off here this will give us an indication of how many people live in the city not that many because anybody who was coming down here that lived outside of the city would just catch the train all the way here they wouldn't be jumping on the light rail few more people at the coffee stand now when I walked past before it was pretty quiet here's the Hunter Street connection still a long way to go you can hear all the power tools screaming away in the background long way to go like the harbour side the old Hunter Street
right, let's get down to Circular Key now. All right, here we are at number one Circular Key. Looks like it's had a, a little bit done. So probably from the three that we looked at, I'd probably give number one Circular Key the prize for the most progress. So well done to the, the building company, Len Lease. So as we stare across at the building site, I'll say goodbye to you. Thanks for watching another vid. See you in the next one. The video is over. Here comes the L2 Circular Key from Rowick.